welcome to Cooking with Miss O. Let's join Mary Beth Oxendine in the kitchen as she teaches you how to cook Southern style healthy. Welcome to Cooking with Miss O. We're doing a new show here with Gus Arendelle, my friend from Springer Mountain Chicken. And um, at the beginning of every month now, we will be having a Springer Mountain show and we will be doing um, Southern healthy chicken recipes. Today, Gus, we're doing one of my family favorites from friends of ours that I learned years ago down in the lower part of the state of South Carolina and it's called um, chicken bog and um, I do it a little bit healthier than the first time we had it Gus. Mm -hmm. I use beef sausage and um, I use the Hillshires because it's the best I've found. A lot of people use pork in it and I don't use the pork. Right, so you use beef. I use beef. I also have changed it from the white rice. The lower part of the state it's a lot of white rice you right, know right. because a professor at Clemson uh, found out that there's arsenic in white rice and my daughter was allergic to that but we didn't know why and that was why. And there's so a trace. You got brown rice. So I do brown rice. It's organic, Lundberg. I buy this at Ingalls. That's actually the only place I could find it. Finding good tasting brown rice is hard, and yes, this one it's pretty is pretty bland. Isn't it, it is, yeah. but this one is the best I've ever found, so I've used this now for years. And um, you can buy that. It comes in a bag that looks like this, and we're going to cook with that. And then, of course, I've been boiling my Springer Mountain chicken. I do the individual breasts that you can buy in the stores, and pretty much around here, um, in the Ingle stores and in Publix and Bollers too, they have the individually, individually wrapped, wrapped, wrapped yes. which is great for widows. It's great in our college town because singles are, are there. We have a whole town full of singles. That's all right. Comes in a receivable bag. You yes. take one out, yes. thaw yes. it out, thaws out real quick. It's wonderful. Cook it, put the bag back in, put it back in the and freezer. And it's, it's very economical, and this is how I do it, y'all. If you feel like because, well, let me first tell you. This is the chicken I've been using, the first chicken I used in a grocery store um, for years because of my daughter. And so you don't have to worry about the grains they use. I've been in there, Marie and I Pritcher have been there, and they don't have any grains that are genetically modified. And I watch for that kind of stuff too. So when I tell you about foods, um, if I check to see if anything's genetically modified, you had to correct me on one thing, a chip I had on here once. Mm -hmm. had to go back and check and he was right and it was organic and I thought it was still being made in the United States and it's not and you're exactly right so also Springer Mountain keeps me up with that because they know how important that is to me too so you don't have to worry about the feed here and um, the integrity of this chicken is the best because it is um, the humane it's sealed by that you'll see that on the package right. We're and you want to say by that the American Humane Association which yes. is the oldest animals and children welfare group that there is in the United States is it really I it's didn't know that yes, I knew from it was back old. in the 1800s oh really wow uh -huh. and so they check that and there's all also a group now where I get my wheat that they have a group in the United States where it tells you who is genetically modified and who isn't. And my grains in Montana, um, they belong to that and they don't have it. Corn is getting very scarce in the U.S. Mm -hmm. That is not genetically modified. So when I do that, I always tell you about this. Now I just put water in this. I boiled it down. Um, we have our chicken. We're going to put it in here, Gus, and we're going to start on all this. But first I want to do my scripture. I always okay. try to give you a scripture that has helped our family that God has just blessed us with. And this one is one of my favorite. Um, because of my childhood and I think because of my spiritual gift of mercy, I hate to see anyone hurt and I hate pain. I wish life didn't have that, but Christ is so great to always, he says one thing, and I've learned this as a widow in the last five years, that he says, he doesn't say any of us are gonna go through this life without hurt and pain, but he says he'll hold us with his righteous right hand, and that's in Isaiah. But I love this scripture, and in the NIV, I have an old NIV, that says one word that is different than all the others, and I know God let Tom give me this Bible because I needed this verse to say this. It says, Jabez cried out to the God of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm, so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. Pain is not used in the other translations we have in the house, only in this one, and I love that. So that's how I've memorized it, um, because pain can be all kinds of things. But when I pray this, moms, over my family, I put our names in that, where it says you and all, and I do that in the Bible. I learned that from Stormy L. Martin, who has the power of a praying husband, power of praying wife, and power of praying mom, and I use all those books. So um, I just want to tell you, that was my scripture this morning through my devotions. Um, and then we always, like Gus mentioned one time, we always pray before we start the show. So even though we're not praying for our meal here, it's already been We've prayed. already did it. That's right. 
Okay, now guess what I want to tell you, this is a real easy, this is an economical meal, and, and when I make something like this where I cook up stuff, I also freeze up enough of the ingredients so that if you have a night, you come in and I put it in the freezer, all you have to do is dump everything in the water and you're done and mm -hmm. just wait for it. This meal takes about, um, if you're taking it out of the freezer, maybe 10 minutes to prepare, and then it takes 50 minutes to cook and you can sit down to a wonderful meal. Okay. And then this is That's how... That's quick. That is, it is and quick. I want to tell you too, that's time for you to set the table with your kids, play with them, listen to them while you're cutting stuff up. My kids were always in the kitchen cutting with me, and even when they were little, they just sat on the counter, but you watch them if they're sitting on the counter. Be very careful about that. And um, they cooked and did everything with me, and I had a blast with it. <laughs> but this is how I get my $5 meals for a family of four and I'm going to show you today. Okay, okay? I'm, I'm interested. This, all right, now first of all, I need to take this chicken out, and I need to fill this cup. I have a cup of water. If you go to my recipe book, let me tell you the page, and this is my recipe book. It's dinner two, recipe chicken and rice, and it's page 62. The only thing different here is I'm adding the beef sausage into that, okay? First, we're going to do this. We're going to get it boiling. I have water for one cup, and then I do the chicken broth. The chicken broth only has a fresh organic garlic clove in it, and I did four chicken breasts. We only need two for this meal, so I'm going to put up two more. And we only need half a log of this beef over here, and I'll put one of that up. And then all you have to do is come in and put it, then we're going to pour that in there, Gus. Now, Gus, I'm going to... I said I was going to let you cook, and I'm already taking oh, over. Oh, that, that's okay. I'm so, enjoying I'm watching sorry. it. Now, you had, I believe, two cups there. Is that I correct? do. And can you do this for me? Open yes. that up and just get me a cup of rice out of that. You can okay. just stick that in there if you want or pour it, whatever you want to do. Okay. The other thing, while you do that, Gus, I'm going to... I'm getting some sea salt here. I brought this today so you could see that. It's out of California. I get sea salt from California, and that's at Ingalls. Here you go, Gus. You can dump a All teaspoon right. of sea salt in there. Okay. Okay. And then, Gus, I just need a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper. Now, I have fresh garlic in that, and I usually put a fourth of a teaspoon of fresh garlic, an eighth in. And I can't open that, Gus. Can you open that yes, thing right yes, there? Yes, but, but uh, why, why, not more, Tupperware. why not more pepper? Uh, we're only going to do a... a um, I've got an eighth out here, and we're supposed to have a fourth of that. So let's just, can you do two of those and put those in? Okay, two peppers. Two, yeah, that's, that's an eighth teaspoon, so we're doing a fourth, so we put two of those in. Okay. And that's good with math, letting your kids do that with you while you cook. It is. I that's kind of that. how I learned how to do my, my uh, fractions. I yes, sure that's did. what I, I did. At my grandmother's house, we'd have she a whole would apple, and we'd cut it in half, and then we'd cut it in four, so we'd cut, cut it in, in eights. eights. Mm -hmm. I, I should have done apples. I did apple pies. I'm sorry. So, <laughs> I wish but, I'd been at your house. <laughs> that's a lot better than Your grandmother was right. Yeah. She wasn't putting you on this. So we're going to turn this on. But first, um, you can go ahead and dump the rice in. Okay. Okay. You haven't started this yet. Is no, there, is just there go ahead and dump it. Is there any reason no. why you haven't? We're going to start it when yet. we get it all going. We're going to get all our chicken in there and our okay. thing. Now, why? Um, I'm going to get you cutting this first, but let me show you how I'm going to do here. And I hate to do this, but I'm going to I'm going to take this lid off of here. Thank you. We're going to chop up all of these breasts, but we're going to do two at a time, and then we're going to bag up the other one. Okay. Um, here we go. We're going to stick this on here. This is a, a food processor that's a Bosch, y'all. And if you watch it Tuesday morning, you uh -huh. can get great appliances when they change the look or whatever, thing like that. So I don't ever pay full price for an appliance. Um, what speed are you going to put it on? I'm probably going to put it on, um, wait a minute, I don't have something hooked right. There you go. And that's a child protection thing. Yes, so that's a good thing. kids can't get hurt. I'm just going to put it on once. I don't want it to be too fine. And I'll check right here. Sometimes I'll tear it up because I don't want this to right, be too fine. So, you, so you, don't, you don't want it too fine, no, correct? No, okay. no, because I want it to be, you know, that should be it. Gus, that looks good, Mary Beth. That's there. Really good. And your chicken always smells good. That's that it thing about spring smell good. Let me, let me see if I can get a close up, and I'm going to show you all this. Here. I would put your nose up to the, to the volume of the speaker on the TV. 
Yeah. And see, see if, if they can. can that's how clear my broth is, y'all. And my chicken smells great. It's none of that yellow stuff. It's none of the stinky stuff. My husband came in one day after I cooked some sale chicken he wanted me to do, and he said, Mary, this smells bad. What are we going to eat that, well, that This never great. smells anything. It smells, it smells like great. I said, I That's the garlic in it because your chicken mm -hmm. doesn't smell. Oh, that's good. It We're going to go to a commercial break right now. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Hi, I'm Gus Herndale with Springer Mountain Farms. With me today, I've got Mary Beth Oxidine from the Cooking with Miss O Show. Mary Beth, what do you think about Springer Mountain Farms chicken? It's my favorite chicken, the one I've used all these years, and it's the only one I will serve at my house to my family and my friends. And I've just made a new recipe, Gus, with it, and it's called Waffles and Chicken, a southern recipe from way back. And it's really good. Remember, we're also fed an all-vegetable diet, and we're certified by the American Humane Association by Springer Mountain Farms Chicken. Welcome back, y'all. Gus and I just put this in a plastic bag. We are making yes. two meals today. Right. And then we just do this, and then we spread it out. And I probably need to let some air out of that. I'll do that later. Right. But that's our chicken. And again, what we talked about on the on the station break though was that two breasts will make enough for four people because right. you've also got the, the beef sausage. The, the beef, the beef sausage. In and there. you've got the brown rice, which has protein content in it. Correct. And um, then we're gonna. Um, even our vegetable will be frozen today, okay? And we're gonna do this. Gus, I'm gonna get you to do this since you saw how to do this. Okay. And then I'm gonna start on, on something else, okay? Shall lock on there? Yeah, shred do it. it up on, yeah, just shred one. it up. Yes. Now, while he's doing that, I'm gonna cut up the sausage here for us. And we only need, and this is already fully cooked, so it's not using raw meat. And then we are gonna put um, some of this. I do the Hillshire's beef. You need help, Gus? You got it? Tell, got me, it. You, tell me if you need me. Thank you. I just dropped my glasses, y'all. And I'm gonna put this into a bag with that. So all you have to do, and in your pantry, if you go to my cookbook, your pantry, you always have brown rice and these seasonings. And then all you have to do is um, put that in um, boiling water. And we did part of our chicken broth. We're gonna also freeze up this chicken broth so they had that water. So they'll have those three things okay. and the vegetable we're doing today. Gus, we're doing, um, you wanna, is it chopped up? Let's, it, it let's is. dump that. I, I did a good job. I bet you did. I You're did. a good student. Okay. You're a great cook, Gus. Yeah, I don't know about that, but okay. Well, we're it working goes. on that. Where, where? It just goes right in here, okay. and you can use that spoon right there. Right. But you might wanna take this off first because it'll fall in the water. I've already had that happen to me. So when I'm Thank talking you. to my kids or talking on the phone while I'm cooking, I've dumped that into so many boiling pans, it's not even funny. Now, I like to cut it in half, y'all, because if you have young children, you don't want your sausage to uh, be real big and you don't want them to have too much. I don't use pork, and because um, it's just, um, just my way of doing stuff. I just do beef and fish and chicken. Low country boiled chicken. Yes, it is. And it is a wonderful meal to have in the fall. Because it, it looks like it'd be a great fall meal. It is. Add that, yeah, yes. add that one. And we're going to do Maybe a sandwich? sauteed okra okay. with that. And then normally what I do at home with a dessert is I'll do um, peach cobbler mm. with that. And um, But we are going to do more of just showing you two things at a thing. And we're going to do a whole peach cobbler one in the next couple of weeks where y'all can see, because we've had a request for that. But I put a few fresh blueberries in with my peaches, so it's a blueberry peach cobbler. But the peaches outnumber the um, thing. You want to just dump that okay. in there for me here, Gus? Glad to. Here you go. Thank you. Let me get that string off there. Looking really good, Mary Beth. All right, you got the. That's great. Now this most is, of the final ingredients. Here, I will take that back if that's okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to cut up the okra and the onion, but I'm going to turn this over, and then I can just use the clean side. And then I have to do this with this. Um, even well, though it's fully cooked, I just don't want that taste on my okra. No, and I am very proud of you. I was wondering if 
we were going to wash that or if you were going to turn it over and obviously you turned it over. Yeah, because it's just greasy a little bit. Right. And um, all this is going to be cooked. So we're fine. Now, if that was raw meat, I wouldn't even use that same board with any with vegetables or anything. So, yeah. No. Very good point. It was all cooked. Uh -uh. Yeah. So this is what I'm going to do now here. I won't do all this, only what we're sauteing, but I'm going to show you. I don't cut up all my okra because it gets um, slimy. Mm -hmm. And so what I do is to freeze this for the meal. And then if you just set it down for a little while, don't wash it either. I've rinsed this and it's dried because you want it dry to put in here. And then I put it in and then I can cut it for sauteed okra and it's not slimy then at all. That's, so that's I just a fill this very, up. very good tip. And I always keep onions in my pantry. Now, it's uh, Valdellas are about to be out. This is one of my last Valdellas. Mm -hmm. And you know those Georgia onions are the best in the oh, world. Oh, they're so sweet. They are wonderful. And we're going to do sauteed this. So, see, I haven't touched that with any of this, only the part that I'm going to cook right now. I fill this bag up, and it's enough for a family of four. And usually, um, Gus, I'll do an extra thing, too, maybe in my dinner rolls uh -huh. with my homemade wheat right. and stuff like that. Um, so that is our meal right there. For now, that meal is $5 for a family of four. That's great. Show them again, Mary Beth, kind of on top of each other. That, that, okay, about, about this is portions. the okra, this is your beef sausage, and this is your chicken, and I have the pantry, my onion that I will do with that, and I have, um, and actually I probably need to take a little bit out of that anyway, because I'm gonna need that when I cut this up. But Gus, I'm gonna get you to cut here. Right. I just take the top off, the ends are fine, and I just do it like that, okay? I understand. There you go. Okay. And I'm gonna let you do that if you would, please. And um, I'm going to ask for another knife so I can cut up some onion here. Marie, can you get me a knife back there? Or Stephanie, you know where the other knife is? I need that place so I can cut up some onion, please. And we're going to um, put this lid on, turn that on. It takes 50 minutes for that meal right there. And then um, I'm going to come over here and take a plate and cut up this onion on it. Go find that other knife, please. Right. Sorry, y'all. I bring everything from my house. So, and I'm going to cut this video. You're doing great, Gus. Oh, thank I, you. I do a little bit of olive oil, not very much at all, right here. And um, probably a tablespoon, mm -hmm. if that is even a tablespoon. And that's all you need with a thank you. Thank you, y'all. Um, with a little bit of onion on it. And I do put my onion in the refrigerator in a plastic bag, or I actually put it in a glass um, container that has a lid on it. Then then it saves it. And then it doesn't, if you do it like that, it doesn't smell up your whole everything. So there we go. You know, I've heard if you'll take a a fresh onion and, and, and cut it up and put it out on a plate though that it'll get the bacteria out of the air in your house. You know I heard that. Yes. That's, that's what right. Do you think it works? I tried it and it made my room smell like an onion. <laughs> now it got the bacteria out. <laughs> I I don't, it did. I don't but know. you don't have the bacteria. But do I, you? Don't, I don't think I have any bacteria. <laughs> onions so. are very great for well, you. Well they are. It makes good sense to me. I, I think onions are great health food. They really I do are. too. I do too. I think well every food that God created Gus has nutritional value. Now we're going yes. to be doing a second show each month. We're going to do Spring Mountain Chicken the first Saturday and then the second show is going to be where we center on a fruit or a vegetable. I give you a recipe for it and then we tell you the nutritional value of it, how to put it up in your freezer. See if people do all that, this here we're going to go. Um, this is front. Right, so this must be right here. And we're going to, could you cut me some more? Yes. Guess? And then I will put this in this. You just put a little bit of onion in with your okra. I have just a little bit of oil. I got this frying pan at Tuesday morning. Um, instead of buying stuff in the regular stores um, to live economically, I buy my stuff there. Where's that again, Mary Beth? Tuesday morning is where I got my pot because they have name brand stuff mm -hmm. that have been changed or discontinued. Uh -huh. And so they buy it from the people and and from the companies and then you can get it at one third the price and there's nothing wrong with it maybe they've changed the color right or the style or something like that so 
that helps a lot of people be able to have things in their kitchen that maybe they couldn't that afford. They couldn't normally. afford. Yeah. And it's That's all right. That's a great idea. You know? Because God, God has us all at different stages in our lives at different places. That's right, but they're all interconnected somehow. They are, aren't they? That's they right. Okay. All right, am I getting about enough? You're doing great. I'm just going to get this hot a little bit. I do about a fourth of a cup of the onion, and that's all. You don't want it to be too much. We just have a little bit of olive oil. We saute this. And when you, you can saute this after it's been frozen, okay? Let's try this, Gus. Alrighty. You want to scrape it off sure. for me, please? Thank you. And I think we can do just a little bit more if you don't mind. Okay, well, more okra. More okra. More Keep okra. Chopping, That's kind of like more chicken. Yes. Let me tell you, it's nice to have somebody else back in the kitchen. My kids are, I have a daughter getting married and a son that's married. When's your daughter getting married? October 19th. Wow. Well, I am so excited. Wedding gifts are accepted. Huh? You said wedding gifts are accepted. Yes, that's, yes, that's, that's true. To me. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> uh, um, she's getting married down at Edisto, where we always uh, vacationed and, on and the beach. What, in South Carolina? South, South Carolina, yes. Edisto. Yes. I'm not familiar with Edisto. You're not? It's no. between Hilton Head and Charleston. And this is what they'd eat down there. Well, I'll be. Okay. We anyway, would it's a beautiful, down beautiful down there. It's beautiful. The, the beaches of South okay. Carolina. And thanks really, so really much. Awesome. We're going to go to a commercial break, and we'll be back to try all of this, Gus. Thanks right, so much. Sounds good and smells good. Thank you. Hi, I'm Gus Arendelle with Springer Mountain Farms. With me today is Mary Beth Oxidine from the Cooking with Miss O Show. Mary Beth, what do you think about Springer Mountain Farms? I chicken? think it's the only chicken that you should use. It's the only one I use because it's been on my table for years. And I love it because it has no antibiotics. My family loves it. And the broth is clear. Only chicken I've ever found like that. Remember, Springer Mountain Farms chicken. No antibiotics, all vegetable diet. American Humane Association certified. Buy Springer Mountain Farms chicken. Hey Gus, we've got it all ready. Let's Mary try Beth, it. Mary Beth, it, it is great. Again, uh, to recap, what, what, what do we got here? We have chicken bog. And it was normally made with white rice from the lower part of South Carolina, and I'm sure it's probably the lower part of Georgia and North Carolina too. But it's a um, low country dish, and it's beef sausage, it's um, spring on mountain chicken, of course, and the spring on mountain chicken broth, which I cooked ahead of time with a little bit of fresh garlic in it, and then, of course, organic brown rice. Yes, and, and sauteed okra. Sauteed fresh okra, okra that I got from the vegetable stand that's been grown in South Carolina. And uh, we sauteed it with a little bit of olive oil and the last of my Valdelia Georgia onions, which I love oh, so much. Okay. So let's well, go let's ahead and try it. it. Okay, we've already prayed. We want people we did. to know we that. We did that before. Mm. Market. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's excellent. Let me see if you did good with the okra. Try the okra. Oh, that, thanks. For, I hope you try it. Bye-bye.